Hey everyone, welcome to Aftershoot. And today, we're talking about our August update, and I think it's gonna capture one, if not many of your hearts. That's right, Capture One is now a supported AI editing feature within Aftershoot. That means you can train your profile using your Capture One catalogs, and we can edit your Capture One catalogs as well. So, go grab all of your Capture One catalogs, put them together, upload them, build your AI profile, and then start editing in Capture One using AI in Aftershoot. We've totally revamped the AI calling preferences screen. You're going to see something totally different and the results are going to reflect it as well. We've now introduced one slider that allows you to choose whether you have less images or more images and we'll do all the rest for you to help get the best results. You're also going to be introduced to a brand new AI blur detection system which automatically looks at your photos, interprets what your normal shooting style and quantity is for that session in particular, and then uses that as a baseline to better select images based on your focal capabilities in camera. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and use those old AI culling preferences, they're still there. They're just down in your customized cull section in which you can turn on or off any given slider based on what you would like to do. You'll notice that the wording and the sliders look a little bit different. That's because we've made some changes there as well. You will notice that we now have different ways of categorizing your duplicate groups. So be sure to check those out and try them. Also, we just introduced some pre-built profiles and we wanted to give you the best place to get new ones. So, welcome to the Aftershoot Marketplace. This is where you'll find all of the available pre-built profiles for you to download, see results, and more. Be sure to check it out by going to View My Profiles and clicking on the Marketplace. Now, of course, what would AI profiles be without our profile adjustments. Introducing our profile adjustment feature, which allows you to go in and manually override settings or simply correct the AI's decisions to better a profile to your style. That means if your profile seems like it's a little bit too blue all the time, you can go ahead and increase the temperature on that specific profile. Or if you wanna set a determined value across all of the images, you can now simply head in and set that value and it'll apply to all the images straight in after shoot. That means you've now got the ability to completely customize and adjust all of the profiles to fit your needs. And last but not least, you're gonna see another big change to the editing preferences. Things have been rearranged to make it a little bit simpler to navigate through when choosing which files to edit within your catalogs. Be sure to check out this new update and let us know what you think.